Do you often run into this issue when using your Mr. FPGA with multiple different displays? Good news though, we can switch between different configuration profiles on the fly as easy as that. Let's find out how right now in episode 68 of Retro Bits. Here we are at the Mr.'s main menu. Let's drop to the command line by hitting F9. The main configuration file is stored on the SD card here in slash media slash fat. Right now, we only have a single default named Mr.ini. Inside the file are all of the video settings we're interested in. For example, this line controls the VGA scaler. The video mode line can be one of the predefined settings above or be customized for your specific display. The problem we face is that one config file equals one video mode. So if you're like me and have several displays with different native resolutions, you're probably sick of constantly editing this file as well. Let's fix that. First, we'll copy our existing config to a new file called mr underscore alt underscore one dot ini. Now, we can edit this new file and configure it for our second display. Most commonly, you'll select a different video mode for the HDMI scaler as you'll want to match the native resolution of your display. It's also common to enable DVI mode for displays that can't handle HDMI audio, like the Dell LCD panel I'll be using today. You may also want to enable the VGA scaler for a specific core, or even downscale 31 kHz video to 15 kHz modes for use with a 240p CRT, as I've demonstrated here. As you may have guessed by the file name, more than one alternate config is supported. You can have up to four in total, although I'm only showing three here, the default and alternate one and two. Here's a trick I like to use. Instead of keeping the prescribed names, I create more descriptive file names for each of my devices, such as the Sony PVM, various Dell LCD panels, a little but darn useful 10 inch IPS panel from AliExpress, and my video capture device. Then, I create symbolic links from these descriptive file names to the ones the Mr. expects as shown here. This way, I can easily tell what each profile is for when I need to edit them later. Let's see the new configs in action. The default doesn't work with either of these displays. No problem, holding the back button and pressing down on the D-pad selects the correct profile for the left panel. Back and up selects the profile for the right panel. I could do this all day. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Instead, let's try out all of the profiles on the aforementioned 10 inch panel. The controller trick is the best option for times when you can't see what you're doing. Otherwise, you can just use the menu to switch profiles. Left of the main settings screen, you'll find your alternate files for easy selection. For me, multiple configs has been a super useful feature of the Mister, so why not give it a try yourself and have fun experimenting with it? Okay, that's it for today, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this retro bit, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.